Hello everyone, welcome to Living Creatively. My name is Shelly. I love to do many different crafting medias. I sew, I paint, and I also like to refinish and repurpose furniture. I'm a bit camera shy right now, but hopefully in the future I will make an appearance more often. If there's anything you would like me to do on my channel, please comment below and I will check it out. I definitely want to make this channel to be a multiple of different crafting ideas from that to furniture. And so basically today what I have planned and I don't see a lot of on YouTube is image transferring on tissue paper with the inkjet printer and it is definitely possible. I got this idea from Rokali DIY and Geisha Baron. Rokali used a glue stick to hold the paper down. I tried that but my printer didn't like it so I will be using tape today. I hope you enjoy So this is what you're going to need to be able to do this. Tissue paper. White is preferable. Printer paper. A printer. Tape. Any sort of medium, like gel medium, uh, today I'm just going to be using Mod Podge mat for transferring. Also scissors, a flat iron, and an image of your choice that you want to use. Also you will want the media of your choice. Today I am going to be using the top of a cardboard box that I have painted. I'm using these cardboard boxes for storage in my craft room and I just want to spruce them up a bit. Let's begin. Rokali DIY used just printer paper and a glue stick. Geisha Baron used freezer paper, something I have never heard of before. I live in Canada so I don't think that is something that we use here. But Geisha finishes how to use your own printed tissue paper without smearing the image with an iron. So first thing that I'm going to do is cut out a piece of tissue paper a little bit bigger than the printer paper. And now paper a little bit also first you have to make sure that you're not using the shiny side up. You use the shiny side towards the paper. I had a problem with the paper. What happened was in this part of the video was the little bit of tape I used wasn't enough for my print printer and my printer ate it up. So I started over again and framed all the edges of the tissue paper with the tape to the printer paper. I will unfortunately have no print around the edge but my printer costs a lot and I don't want to damage it. So what I am doing in this part is putting the tape up to the edge of my desk and making sure it's nice and straight. And those edges here, make sure they're longer than the paper so that way you can cut them off later. You don't want to leave any edges undone. 
so then I get the paper up close and then fold down the tape make sure it's nice and straight Try to start from the middle and you work your way out so that way you don't get any wrinkles. And then turn it over so that you can add the rest of the tape to the back. Flip that over, start in the middle and press it down. And then clip the edges off as close as you can so that way you have no tape residue coming out and it'll save your printer in the long run. And repeat this for all four sides. Okay, so here we are back. So this is what happens if the paper is too loose. You will get some running of the ink a little bit, but with this print that I used, it actually adds to the vintageness of the print that I chose. So what I'm going to do is let it rest on another piece of print paper and I'll show you what I'm doing. Okay, so what I am doing is putting this down and letting it rest on there and letting it dry for a few minutes so we don't smudge the ink any more than what it already is. Now I'll be back. Okay, so I'm back and I'm going to flip this image over. There's a little bit there, but I think that's more from the tape than anything. So what I'm going to do is take this tissue and go around the edges to make sure I don't smudge any more than what needs to be. So now what I'm going to do is cut it out. Okay, so now we have a beautiful Print. And as you can see that it did come through the printer paper, but that's okay. And using this technique, you can use either side of the print because they both look really well. Unless you have text on there, then you definitely can only use it one way. Uh, I'm not sure how it would, how it would look with this shiny side up but we're going to use it this way today and I'm going to use and put it on my box lid so what I'm going to do what I've already started is pulling the paper to make it a little look a bit more vintagey and so I'm, all I'm doing is pulling the paper off right here you could use water but you risk making the ink run on the paper and it'll ruin your image so just remember that and I'll be back when I'm done with this 
Okay, so what I'm going to do now is iron the image and that will help set the ink so that it doesn't run when we use the Mod Podge. Or you can also use Liquitex gloss matte. I don't know if there's satin gel, but you can use that as well. You don't have to use Mod Podge. I have the setting on cotton and that should set it and once that cools down you can transfer it onto my cardboard. Okay so I'm back. It's nice and cooled off and I have my Mod Podge here. my brush and I'm just going to use a pencil and just mark close to where I need to put the Mod Podge so I don't go over too much. It is matte so you won't be able to see it though. some spots that I have missed. So here is the finished product and as you can see here a little bit at the bottom is a little bit of running but that's okay that can be covered up when it dries and if you are still here thank you for watching my video I really appreciate your support if you like the video and learned something valuable I would love it if you liked this video and shared it with friends also, I would love it if you subscribe to help my channel grow and hit that notification bell so you're notified when I upload another video. Thank you for being here and have a beautiful day.